right there. Now, this video is the last one about writing thesis in English studies. It deals with references. One of my students asked me why should we have to write the references section. The purpose of writing references section is to give your readers um, some of the key literature that you have used in your research that you um, wrote and cited in the literature review and you also maybe quote research method that have been done by other scholars then you need to say those uh, quotation and citation in the references if you use that in the body of your research from chapter let's say chapter one two three or four when you lead your readers with uh, research findings then you need to state, state that in the references section because your reader might be interested to read more about uh, the references that you have read right now that is the function of the references when you write references that you need to consider important elements of the reference the first one is the name of the author it must be human not robot the name of the author can be single author two authors or five authors or it can be an institution or university depending on how you want to quote the, the text and then the next one is the title of the writing it is a must if you do not see the title of the writing then you cannot quote that you cannot use it oh before i forgot when you want to use the references you have to make sure that the references are available or it is easy to be access or accessible that's what you need to consider and it is reliable genuine um, and the author can be responsible for what he or she published in the article the third one is the place of the publication where this reference was published it can be in new york in australia sydney or it can be in Japan, Hong Kong, depending on where it places. And the fourth one is the publisher who published the writing. If the publisher doesn't exist or it is a fake, then do not use it in your research. You have to clarify uh, whether it is a journal, what kind of journal, is it international journal or translated journal or in Indonesia we have it in Sinta 1, Sinta 2, Sinta 3 um, you need to quote you need to see check that you can go to Zotero you can go to Mendeley and you can also search with Google Scholar if you have account in that and you can also go to ProQuest and many other uh, surface that are available on internet you can use those after the name title of the writing and then uh, place of the publication publisher and the last one is the, the year if you want to do your research I would emphasize that you need to use journal articles that are published within five years let's say when I talk to you in this video is 2019 then I'm going to use journal articles that have been published since 2014 that would be great but if you write in the topic of history for example history is a very old and classic then you can you can quote old the literature in that field if it is very important for your literature review and also you state those in the references section and this, you also need to uh, separate is it printed or online 
Now about printer or, or online, you need to go back to the referencing system. There are many forms of references section in form. I'm um, sorry. Um, you can use APA, American Psychological Association, MLA, Modern Language Association, Chicago, Harvard Referencing System, um, Harvard UTS in Australia Referencing System. Um, there are many kinds and types of uh, referencing system that you can apply. So it depends on where you study. If you study in Indonesia, then you need to ask your research panels what kind of referencing system that you need to apply in your thesis. Okay? Alright, now this is the last video about writing thesis in English studies. I talk to you directly to my students. But if you find my explanation in this video is very useful, not only for my students, but also for uh, people in many different places in the world, then I would be so pleased to hear that. And if you have any question, feedback, or additional point for my explanation, please don't hesitate to write it down in the comment section below. I would be very pleased and happy to discuss with you because I am a learner myself. I learn and open myself to different things. I have a high curiosity, right? Okay, thank you for your attention and have a good time in your research. Bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.